cost. <laughs> yeah. People's dollars for shit. Pennsylvania Dutch, also known as Pennsylvania German. This is the language that all Amish would learn as their first language. This is what children will speak up until they start going to school as their primary or only language. And this is either a dialect of German or a separate language in itself, depending on who you ask. Mark Loudon, a professor at the University of Wisconsin, who's written on this topic extensively, explains that Pennsylvania Dutch is most closely related to German dialects of the region in southwestern Germany. Now, a lot of people wonder why is it called Pennsylvania Dutch? Loudon explains in his book Pennsylvania Dutch, the story of an American language, that Contrary to a widespread belief among both non-scholars and scholars, the Dutch in Pennsylvania Dutch is not a historical mistranslation of the native word Deitch. Although the words Deitch and Dutch do share a common Germanic etymology, both German and Dutch were used in earlier American English to mean German. The two synonyms differed in terms of formality. The word German, which was borrowed from Latin, traditionally had a neutral or formal connotation while Dutch was used in more familiar and informal, folksier, contexts. Since most active Pennsylvania Dutch speakers have historically been farmers, craftspeople, and laborers, it is understandable that Dutch has been their label of choice. So as I mentioned, this is the language that the Amish use to converse amongst themselves. Often if you enter a conversation or an area where Amish are speaking in Pennsylvania Dutch, they'll switch to English out of respect or politeness for you as an outsider. One other note about Pennsylvania Dutch. Now there is a small subgroup within the Amish known as the Swiss Amish. These are primarily found in two large communities in Indiana, and they speak a different form of German to that spoken by most Amish. Mark Loudon explains that it's a form of Bernese Swiss German. He says that they also speak Pennsylvania Dutch, but interestingly, they often resort to English when communicating with Pennsylvania Dutch speaking Amish, since Amish Swiss German and Pennsylvania Dutch are not mutually intelligible. Very interesting fact. I've also heard that for the Swiss Amish speakers, it's easier for them to understand Pennsylvania Dutch or Pennsylvania German than vice versa. Hence the need for English. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.